The Power of Generosity, now on Fixing the Money Thing. You know, it's interesting that, I guess it's maybe going on a year and a half, two years ago, that we were looking for campus property. You've heard the story. We just couldn't find any uh, property or buildings in the area we felt God leading us to launch a campus available. We had several opportunities to pull the, you know, lever on a couple and sign the documents, but it just had a check. It just wasn't right. And so we went to this meeting where they were launching this TV network, and we had an opportunity. Say opportunity. opportunity. We had an opportunity to sow into the, one of God's projects. Our choice. And as I sat there, God spoke to me and said, again, God doesn't demand. He always gives you direction. Basically, you know, this is what I would suggest. <laughs> but to sow $100,000 into that television network. And when you do so, he said, I want you to take this to your church and tell them what you're doing. I want you to believe God for that property to show up. And I want you to tell Satan to take his hands off your business. So we did that in every service. We told Satan, get your hands off God's business. We, we can't, we're, no, we feel led to open a campus. We know we wouldn't feel led to, to put a campus over there if there wasn't something available over there. Satan's interfering. We, we command that's a stop. And we're going to believe God, you're going to show us. We're sowing this in faith. That was on a Thursday. That weekend, we took that $100,000 check to each service. Each service of all four services, we prayed over that, laid our hands on it, and released it on Monday. On Tuesday, we had a dinner set up with one of our partners that we'd had set four or five times throughout the year. But each time we had to move it. But this time it held. So we sat down with our partner, and you know, it was great to talk to them again. And began to talk about church, and they asked, how's the building project? And I said, well, we have, we have some issues with that. Cities change rules, There's just issues popped up, changes in zoning, different things happened that, around us that it, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna happen soon. And he said, you know, you need to be looking for a campus. I said, we are, we are. We've been trying, to, we've been looking for six months or more. We've been looking, but there's just nothing there. But that day in the morning, I think it was our daughter or someone, I think Amy may have emailed us or texted us and said, hey, we saw this uh, school that it was for sale. We thought it was pretty awesome, but you know, it's pretty expensive. And she said, you know, you gotta look at it. So we came home on Tuesday morning before we had dinner with this partner, we agreed to go see this piece of property. And it was amazing. I mean, it was a, high, it was a whole uh, high-end high school campus complex, not just a building. You know, it had a three-story high school, you know, arts building, buildings, uh, all kinds of, had a house with it. I mean, all kinds of, uh, you know, uh, four tennis courts, running tracks. I mean, you think of a high school, weight room. I mean, it just, it was perfect, perfect, perfect. Because our hearts for kids, we want to reach kids and educate kids and reach that community. So it was perfect, except, as you know, what? It, it was perfect, except what? Money. Millions. So we had dinner with that partner. Well, we did see something today that looked great. I mean, it's, you know, yeah, we, we did finally find a property in that area that was perfect, you know, but God, it's, it's millions. We're sitting there and he turns to Drenda and said, well, what if it was free? Drenda didn't act like she didn't hear him. I heard him, but I was like, did I hear that? He said to Drenda, Drenda, what if it was free? She, what do you mean? He said, what if it was free? He said, what if we just wrote the check out? Oh, uh, we could handle that. <laughs> <laughs> and they did. Now, the story I'm telling, obviously, I think most of us know that, but you don't know what happened to them. You need to know what happened to them. So during this time period, the same time period, they were in the process of negotiating, purchasing another business. The franchise owner of that other business declined their offer 
and said they've already had someone else that was purchasing it. But this partner said he didn't feel released in his spirit. He felt, nah, that's not right. I just believe that's my, my, I believe that's my franchise. And after they sowed that money, it may have been not long, maybe a week or two or after they, 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 did, you know, they did that, they got a call from the franchise owners and said that the first deal had fallen through. Would they like the franchise? Absolutely. Amazingly, I think, I don't have the dates down exactly, but maybe two weeks before closing, they had a supernatural, unusual, sudden profit transaction come into their business that produced the millions of dollars necessary to buy the franchise in one transaction. In other words, they had some deals happen that in that one week produced the millions of dollars necessary to close on that transaction. They bought it. They had it appraised. It was appraised for twice the millions that they paid for it. Yeah. Friend, God gives seed to the sower, bread for eating, and the Bible says he'll increase your store of seed. Why does he want you to have more seed? Because he is in the people business. You're his ambassador. He wants you to act like he does. He wants you to be generous on every occasion because it opens people's hearts. They can see God's heart. It says they will thank God for your grace, the amazing supernatural grace. God's empowering you to prosper. Paul says this, thank God for this indescribable gift. What was the gift? I asked you first. It's the grace of God to prosper. Thank God for this gift, this power of God that comes alongside you to cause you and help you to prosper. And I'll tell you what, it's changed a lot of lives in this room. It's changed Drenda, our life completely. But if you understand this process, you don't have to look any further for the opportunity of a lifetime because you have it right now. God, God who made all things is offering you the opportunity to work with him in the earth realm to create wealth for his people business. It's your choice. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.